No. No. It's hardly anything left to Riata anymore. Just six telephone poles that are sticking up out of the ground and nearly nothing more. Nobody knew what was there, and they would never know that it was that beautiful house from Giant. What used to be the front, Juanita? What used to be the front? It's just lying all over the ground, rotting away in that terrible hot sun. <laughs> do you know what I did, though? You know what I managed to do? I managed to retrieve one last identifiable piece of that house. And it's one of them pieces that I'm pretty sure must have been up there along the top of that porch roof. I really had to dig among the piles of destruction to come up with one that had even that, oh, slightest hint of recognition. Look here. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Some of those you've gotten in past years are better. really is a sin the way the citizens of Marfa have let that monument fall into ruin like that. It was only the front, of course. That's the way that they do things in the movies. Deceiving to the eye, they call it. It will be so embarrassing, won't it, to have the disciples come back to see how this town has dried up so. Are you notice now riding in on that bus? This looks like a regular ghost town. Hard to believe how everything has changed so quickly in 20 years. Sure hadn't changed much in here, though. I'm sure they'll all remember what it was like in here, in the five and dime. About Joe, why? Why did Sidney have to fire? You know, Sidney has done what he believes is best for that boy, as well as for the rest of us. And you will understand better as you get older. But I, I don't. What did he do that was so wrong? He never bothered nobody. He just stocked the shelves and mopped the floors like he was paid to. It's nothing to do with his work, it's what he is. And things will be better off without him around. Now, Sydney has done the right thing. But we, we're friends, you know. Well, he should have friends who are boys, not you and Sissy. It's just shameful the way the three of you dressed up as lookalikes, pretended you was that singing act. What's your names? It was the McGuire sisters. It was the McGuire sisters, and that, that was just for the senior talent show. That's all. I think it was just for fun. It was just for fun. Well, it didn't turn out that way. I mean, everybody who saw it was just shocked and disgusted. First, that disgusting thing at the talent show, and then that incident at the final school dance with Lester T. Callahan that has erupted into a regular scandal. Oh, he is a sick boy and should be treated before he grows up into a communist. No, Juanita, he did. you are wrong. You are all wrong. I, he's just different, that's all. And that, it's not his fault, it's theirs. Sidney knows what is there. No, he does not know. Sidney and me are good, upstanding, Bible-believing Christians. And we have searched our Bible from cover to cover to find an excuse for his behavior. And there is none. In the eyes of God, he does not belong. And God is wrong. God made him, didn't he? If God doesn't accept him, then I just, I don't accept God then. Now, you listen here, young lady. I will not permit you to speak of our Lord in that way. And I will not stay here and listen to him. He's not my God. I don't want him. I just, I hate him. And I hate Sidney, too. Hey, Juanita! Oh, hey! <laughs> Would you come on help me with this door, please? I'm about to drop these damn things. Here. Which take one? This, take this one right here. Ow. Ow. Are you okay? Oh, my 
God, it's hotter than I don't know what out there. Hey, kid, I see you made it back on one piece. I did. You're not going to believe what I found in today's Odessa American. News of a rainstorm no, coming? What is no, 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 the escapades. The escapades is coming to the Exeter County Coliseum for four whole days, Mom. You know that? And that ain't on here. Look at this. Right. They are going to be holding tryouts for new skaters to take up with. And my God, you know what? When I read that, my heart skipped four beats. This is a chance of a lifetime for me. To do what? What do you mean to do what? To, uh, to ice skate, that's what. What, you? Well, I ain't talking about my Aunt Sally. Well, the only kind of skating you know how to do is roller skating. And you ain't done none of that since the Dixie Roller Rink closed nearly 10 years ago. You think that skating's something you can forget that easy? So see, you, just, you have never skated on the ice before in your life. Well, so what? I mean, skating, skating. I don't care if you do it on rollers or ice or water, for Christ's sake. Just a matter of balance and form, and God knows that my form is well balanced. Well, um, don't you think that it's just a little late into life to put? <laughs> I'm sorry. To try something like that, that's all I meant. Well, it might be late for you, Mo, but I'm just beginning. You know, the way you two's talking, you think I was ready for a wheelchair or something. You'd be less apt to break your neck wheeling on us than skating on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You're just going to be laughing out of the other side of your little old ha 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 Mo, what do you think of my dress? It's a cat's ass, ain't it? <laughs> Too short and mind your language. I ain't talking to you here, sissy. What? Girl, what are you doing? You know what it reminds me of? No. It, well, it just it reminds me of one of them uh, roller skating outfits that you used to wear. Hey, Mom. Mo, you remember how they used to um, scream and yell when I'd skate out on the floor? Gliding and twirling around the rope. What was that that they used to call me? Joe. 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 I uh, used to call you Swanya Henny, the breastiest bird on the, uh, eight, eight wheels. wheels. <laughs> right, what made you think about Joe? I ain't thought of him in a million years. I don't know. I don't know. I, he just sort of popped into mind, that's all. I just, I've been doing a lot of thinking back there in Marfa at Riata, and he's still upstairs in my head, I guess. That's what. <laughs> well, God, the three of us had ourselves one hell of a time, didn't we? <laughs> My God, Joe Qualley was a ride. He was a ride. I suppose I'm going to get to make the sandwiches all by myself. I cannot believe that you're home from college. It's like, it's like I'm dreaming, Mo. You know what? Well, Joe and me was going to get Stella May to take your place in the McGuire sisters, but she would have never been as good as you. To see, you know what? I just, I don't think that we should do that act anymore because of all that's happened. No, Juanita says it was because oh. of that thing at the senior dance with Lester T. Callahan. That's how all the trouble got started. What? You know, everybody really believed that Joe was my cousin from Oklahoma City, especially Lester T. I know. I, Joe does make a very pretty girl all dressed up, don't he? Yes, Lester T sure thought so. You know what? I would have given anything to see um, the expression on Lester T's face when he got Joe in the back seat of his car and he reached in his dress and he squeezed them balloons and that strawberry jello exploded all over his white tux. <laughs> I just. Joe should never have carried the joke so far. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's all. So you think Lester T will try and get even like he said? Well, I wouldn't put it past that goon head. I was so afraid for this summer to be over, and now it can be summer forever, can it? Oh, my, I hope not, Mo. Jesus, you know. This heat is so hot, I think it's shrinking my bazooms. You what? My bazooms, that's what the boys call No, they don't. Now, do they look like they've shrunk into you? I don't know. Let me see. No, Lord, no. They just, they both look exactly the same to me. Mo, do you think that they could, um, be as big as Marilyn Monroe's? Yeah, I do. I'm think I think they might be bigger than... <laughs> no, I do. I said that. Yeah. You know, Sidney said that he thought that they were, but you know him. Ooh, Sidney told you that? Yeah, small. Let me tell you something. He's a card. You know, he's always pinching my butt behind the counter. Not when Juanita can see him, of course. She does have the wool pulled over her ass, don't he? Don't he, no. Mona. What? Are you just busting for that movie to come out? You are uh -huh. going to be up there on the movie screen with James Dean. I mean, on the movie screen. We're going to the drive-in, and you're going to be there with James Dean. I can't believe it. God, he just sends shivers up and down my insides. He could just drag me off to the graveyard any night he wants to. Sissy? Yes? Uh, did you ever dream what it would be like, you know, to make love to somebody real famous like him? All the time. But, you know, you really should um, experiment with some... Nobody first before you tackle someone as important as he is. That's all I'm doing. It's kind of like, um, well, it's kind of like homework for the big test later. Sissy? Yes? Yeah. 